We need to improve data on gendered mobility patterns because mobility is a basic human need. But our infrastructure is still man-centered. Women use the city very differently. Women have historically been ignored in transport planning, transport provision. And it's only when we look at things through a gendered or intersectional lens that we can truly understand the varying needs of our peoples in our cities and design for them. You can't change what you don't measure. So until we properly measure gendered mobility patterns, we're never going to achieve the changes in service provision, the changes in the way we move around in a way which is truly sustainable. And by gathering both quantitative and qualitative gender disaggregated data, we can make the invisible visible. This kind of data should be used to enable better informed, data-driven urban planning that leads to fairer and more equitable mobility systems and outcomes that work better for all genders. Gender data enables in the evidence-based decision-making to address specific mobility needs of transport users in all their diversity. 50% of journeys out there are being made by women, and yet men probably make about 80% of the decisions about whether or not those experiences are safe, accessible, or even enjoyable. We need to have gender disaggregated data that will elucidate travel patterns and ultimately provide clear guidance for gender responsive infrastructure and legal frameworks. And we know that by tackling this lack of balance, it's not just a gender aspect that we may improve, but also a range of characteristics which are currently underrepresented. We've spent too long looking at the data that was easiest to collect, usually on journeys to work. But data can only help us improve mobility if we understand the wide range of needs of the whole population. Women are not a monolithic group and that we will have complex but valid needs and expectations over mobility. Disaggregated data then becomes a key ally to help us build that understanding. Because understanding how different genders move and navigate through a city is essential to creating inclusive and useful transport systems. If we are to build safe, accessible and equitable transport systems, gender equality needs to be integrated throughout the transport agenda with gender disaggregated data, gender impact assessments and women workers and users included as decision makers in policy discussions and consultations about transport. If we are serious about making our mobility more sustainable, and we know how urgent that is, then we should stop ignoring the mobility needs of 50% of our population.